So I was on Breakthrough News live stream today, and I was suspicious because they were censoring my comments in chat, which made me think maybe they're fascist, um, secretly pretending to be uh, on the left, but actually fascist because they're deleting comments that get to the heart of the problem. Trump, Putin, um, the ultimate fascist, the Hitlers of our time, Trump, Putin, Netanyahu, they claim to be against genocide, but when you try to speak out against the genocide and use words that they don't like, as you mentioned Putin, then they delete your comments. So, to me, that seems like fake leftists who are doing more harm than good. But specifically, today they were talking about the election in Venezuela and how it's pretty Trumpy for the opposition to be claiming that they actually won. Now, in this case, they're doing the exact same thing that Bolsonaro and Trump and others did, where they lie about the election, claim they won, and try to steal it. But in this case, the American media and government is on the side of the Nazis, the, uh, the right-wing candidates in Venezuela. And when I called him out um, and said, you know, this is Trumpy, um, some, some people in the comments were uh, contesting that with me until the host himself said it reminds him of Trumpism. Problem being that if they downplay election interference of Russia in America, um, then they're not seeing that the same problem is Russian interference for all right-wing candidates everywhere and that that's a network of problems. And if they're downplaying than that, then they're doing that for Putin. And they're standing in the way, acting like leftists who should be speaking out against this stuff and have a platform to speak out against it, but suck up people's time and attention um, with hosts and guests who are going to conclude and make the conclusion that, you know, both sides are the same or whatever. We can't oppose Trump because something's wrong with Kamala or whatever. And that's... Trumpism. That's just another form of Trumpism. They're also Trump Putineers, and we need to call them out for that because it's evil and wrong and they're lies. And even when they claim to support the good side of things, they end up doing more damage to those things than good because they end up lying and protecting the leaders of the evil, which as far as I can tell are just Putin, Zuckerberg, Musk, uh, Trump. They're, they're, they're all his pawns, but Putin's pretty much at the top of it. I can't see anybody above Putin, and Putin's basically a Russian nesting doll of genocides creating more genocides to distract from his genocide in Ukraine and in Gaza and in Sudan and in India and everywhere where he has people in power. And if we just take that power structure down, we can end all the evil, all the bad, all at once. So let's do it. We can do it from bed. Uh, we can do it with peaceful protests. We can do it like they did in Bangladesh and overthrew their prime minister. Although the government did kill 400 people there, uh, if we stay in bed and do it on our phones where we can and when we can, we can overthrow tyrants with complete peace and safety. So let's do it. Thanks. I call it the pillow revolution.